In today's gospel, we hear that Jesus was a faithful Jew. It says that he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath as he usually did. So for Jesus, worship of God with the community on the weekend was not an occasional event, and it was not a hit and miss affair. No, he went to the synagogue every Sabbath where he, together with all the people, studied the scriptures. They read from the Bible and they listened to its guiding words. The gospel says, Jesus stood up to read from the prophet Isaiah. Unrolling the scroll, he found the place where these words are written. The spirit of the Lord has been given to me, for he has anointed me. Now let's imagine that we are in that synagogue of Nazareth, quietly waiting for Jesus to speak as he rolls up the scroll of the Torah and hands it to the attendant. We can hear the emotion rising in his voice as he says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me. We can feel the excitement that electrified the people when he went on to say, This text is being fulfilled today, even as you listen to it. So Jesus is not simply reading the scriptures, he's making them come alive. And he says that he has come to bring good news to the poor. Now, when we hear the word poor, we automatically think of people who have no money or people who are homeless. But Jesus says the poor are those who need God's good news. Are you and I poor in that way? Are we the ones who need some good news? Jesus goes on to say that he has come to proclaim liberty to captives and to the blind new sight. Are you or I held captive by something, an addiction or compulsion? Are we so blinded by something that we make foolish choices which we later regret? Then Jesus says that he has come to set the downtrodden free, to proclaim the Lord's year of favor. Are you or I feeling down about something, depressed, living without hope? Could this new year be the year when we will find healing? Today, God is calling us to listen to his word, to live by it, and to put the word into action this week. If we are impoverished or blinded or imprisoned by something, let's not lose hope, because the word of God says to us today, do not be sad, do not be mournful, do not weep. This day is sacred to the Lord and his joy is your stronghold.